Good morning, Forest. I'm Maggie. And I'm Jackson. And today's date is Monday, October 22nd, and on today's show, we'll have all of your Wildcat news and sports. WCAT knows that at Forest, we are all about spirit and showing our green and gold pride. That's right. So if you're looking for a t-shirt to wear for spirited events, order forms for the 2018 spirit shirts can be found in the library. While you are at the library, remember that underclassmen who are still looking for spirit shirts may claim the extras by turning in an order form now. Any boys who want to play lacrosse this year, workouts and conditioning have begun and are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All boys who are interested must attend unless they are already involved in a fall sport. Girls soccer tryouts will begin today, October 22nd and go until the 25th. Tryouts will be located at Rotary Fields promptly at 3.30. Girls basketball tryouts will be held on Monday, October 29th to the 31st for JV and varsity, right after school. And each girl that tries out must have an up-to-date physical and they can receive the forms from the athletic department. Here's Leslie with All Things Fall that you can do in Ocala. Good morning, STN. This is Leslie Vincent here in downtown Ocala, where we're going to fall into fall, whether that be the restaurants or the shopping. Now I'm at Shannon Roth Collection, a boutique on the square where you can purchase festive decorations to spruce up your homes this fall season. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5. New to Ocala this fall is The Lodge, a family-friendly restaurant that welcomes all guests and serves great food. And if you are trying to get out and see a movie this season, you can come to the Marion Theater and see the new horror movie Halloween and other creepy classics. Tickets are only $5. After a long day of activities, you can come relax at Symmetry Coffee and Crepes, which is a cozy environment that also gives you a taste of fall with their pumpkin spice cheesecake crepe and their pumpkin spice lattes. As you can see, downtown Ocala has a lot to offer this fall season, so make sure you stop by and take a look. Once again, this has been Leslie Vincent reporting. If you are interested in entering something for the writing, artwork, or film contest, you must have your entry forms in by today. Entries can be found outside the library and must be dropped off at one of the public library branches. If any student cannot get to one of the library branches, he or she may give the entry to Ms. Polars to drop it off for them. There is a book club meeting today in the library during CAT. There will be a book ball meeting on Tuesday, October 23rd in the library during cat period. Speaking of books, be sure to check them out to read for the month of October. Students that do so will receive raffle tickets to enter to win one of the six bags that will contain a spooky book, treat, and tricks. The Astra Club is collecting pet supplies for the Marion Animal Rescue and Human Society. They are looking for don donations of the following items. Pedigree Puppy and Dog Food, Purina kid Kitten Chow, Purina One Indoor, Advantage Adult Cats, Cat Litter, clay non-clumping, clippers, dog and cat brushes and combs, cat and dog toys, combs or synthetic chew only, no stuffed animals, and pooper scoopers. Wildcats Theater presents Chemo Girl and other plays October 25th through the 27th at 7 p.m. Admissions will only be $10 and the American Teen Cancer Society will be selling refreshments with proceeds to support the American Cancer Foundation. Senior t-shirts and hoodies are still on sale. Shirts are $15 and hoodies are $25. Girls weightlifting has begun and they are missing a bunch of girls paperwork. They are still accepting new recruits and of all shapes, sh strengths, and sizes. You can pick up physical forms and pink sheets at the front desk. All paperwork and money is due today, October 19th. Paperwork and money can be turned into Coach Duke Dunham in room A270. Last Friday night was our last home football game and also senior night. Here's Max with the recap of the game. I'm here at Forest High School, where our Wildcats took on the South Lake Eagles for their senior night. Our boys fought hard throughout the game, but they could not come through the victory. Facing adversity like this was a repeated theme for our Wildcats. It was the first year for our new head coach, Ray Green, and he has had to overcome many challenges with his new team. You know, injuries are always a part of it. You're going to deal with that. I think coming in with a new system and a new culture, those are always going to be challenges uh, for you. Um, you know, losing is, 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 is like anything else. It can turn into a habit. And so we kind of got in a funk uh, early on, and it's been difficult to climb out of it. So I think at this point right now, we're, you know, the biggest challenges we're having to overcome would be the, you know, what we see in the mirror. You know, that we're not doing a very good job of overcoming adversity. Something bad happens in a game, and we kind of, we kind of lose it at that point. Despite all of this adversity, players and coaches have a shared love for the game of football, and it is special to them in many different ways. Football is special because it teaches me how to be a man, like going against somebody over and over, and it just teaches me how to use my skills and do what I like to do. I think the brotherhood that can exist in a, on a football team, I mean, I think in a lot of ways football mirrors life. 
you know, it's a struggle. It's a, it's a war game. You know, it's a, it's a physical and mental battle. And um, I think it mirrors a lot of things. I think football is a microcosm of life. You know, things go, start going south and it's hard to turn it around. So just uh, being presented with lots of opportunities to overcome adversity, like we saw tonight, I think it's a, it's a great teaching tool. Um, it's just been a part of my life forever. This is my last home game, so that really touches. Um, football is basically the love of my life. I don't know what I'd do without football. Because of their love for the game, every member of the team perseveres through their own hardships and their own ways. Uh, big challenges are just like, you know, uh, overcoming adversity. Like, you know, after, after losing a big game, it's really hard for a team to like, like have confidence to go into the next game, you know, just coming over just ourselves basically. The hardest, that's been the hardest thing is just coming over ourselves and our emotions. You know, you just gotta come to practice and work as hard as you can because that's when the wins start every Monday, Tuesday, you know? Wins start, practice, you gotta come to practice and be ready to work and you just have to forget about losses and move on to the next game and that's all you gotta focus on is winning the next game. All right. This has been Max McCammon reporting for WCAT. If you are interested in entering something for the writing, artwork, or film contest, you must have your entry forms in by today. Entries can be found outside the library and must be dropped off at one of the public library branches. If any student cannot get to one of the library branches, he or she may give the entry to Ms. Polaris to drop it off for them. There is a book club meeting today in the library during CAP. There will be a book bowl meeting on Tuesday, October 23rd in the library during CAP period. Speaking of books, be sure to check them out to read for the month of October. Students at Dew will receive raffle tickets to enter to win one of the six bags that will contain a spooky book, tricks, and treats. The Astro Club is collecting pet supplies for the Marion Animal Rescue and Human Society. They are looking for donations of the following items. Pedigree Puppy and Dog Food, Purina Kitten Chow, Purina One Indoor, Advantage Adult Cats, Cat Litter, Clay Non-Clumping, Clippers, Dog and Cat Brushes and Combs, Cat and Dog Toys, Kongs or Synthetic Chew Only, No Stuffed Animals, and Pooper Scoopers. Wildcats Theater will present Chemo Girl and other plays October 25th through the 27th at 7 p.m. Admission will only be $10 and the American Teen Cancer Society will be selling refreshments with proceeds to support the American Cancer Foundation. Senior t-shirts and hoodies are still on sale. Shirts are $15 and hoodies are $25. Last Friday night was our last home football game and also our senior night. Here's Max with a recap of the game. Spirit night at Brooklyn's Backyard this Tuesday. Wait, did we do that? It doesn't say is. I'll just... <laughs> Spirit Night is at Brooklyn's Backyard this Tuesday, October 23rd. Just mention Forest High School to get 10% back to the school. Make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram to stay updated with all your Wildcat news. That's all the news we have for you today. Once again, I'm Maggie. And this is Jackson. Have a great day, Forest, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.